Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another resin tutorial. So today we are making this adorable little Christmas mold. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And it actually has the base. So it's a two part base that, um, this way fits together. Okay. So like cha-ching and now it stands up. So the way that this little mold comes, I was pleasantly surprised. There are two of them. So when it came, I could make two at a time, which I'm not sure why I need two at a time, but I'm pretty sure I do. They make really cute little pieces. You could easily give some for gifts. And especially when you can make multiples at a time, like gifts all day, baby. So this is actually a pretty quick and easy project. It is little tiny words. So, you know, you really want to make sure not to overfill your mold. This one is in here because I overfilled the back and like this is all solid now as opposed to this, which is see-through, like the cutouts actually worked and up here solid because I overfilled my mold a little. So I'm gonna have to take an X-Acto knife and, and cut all that out or leave it, we'll see. It's not bad, it's just not as dynamic. So make sure when you're doing this, it's on a level surface and that you don't overfill your mold and it turns out beautifully. My main problem with this was that it wasn't level and so all of the resin pulled towards one end, leaving this side perfect and this side a little overfilled. For this project, I'm going to use Amazing Clear Test Resin, same as always. These are the little bottles. I love these for little projects because I can do, do little projects without having to pull out my gallon jugs. I also need some pigment. For this project specifically, I used white and lush pink. If I was doing this again, I might use more contrasting colors, like maybe blush and copper. See this little copper guy? This would be beautiful. But this is a little mold and I made it with leftover resin from a larger project. It's always good to keep a little mold handy for when you're doing big pieces and you might have extra resin. So then you're gonna, of course, need all your safety gear. Please make sure you wear your respirator and your gloves whenever you're doing resin. I promise you it's worth it. You're also going to need a heat gun to pop all those bubbles and your silicone mold. And I always like to put my pieces on a tray with a silicone mat, that way I, and I'm working on them outside, I can easily bring them inside and my resin doesn't spill. Just make sure you put it level because when I brought this one inside, I didn't put a level. So learn from me, y'all. Learn from me. All right, that's about it. We are going to jump right into the project. I hope you guys love it.
All right, y'all, so we are done. Doesn't it look pretty? So, as you can see, the finished piece is amazing. I absolutely love how it looks. I tucked it back here on my little pie safe, which serves as kind of my buffet and my dining room. And it looks so cute with the rest of my little bottle brush trees and my mercury glass trees. It blends right in with the resin, but it has that cute little saying on it. I absolutely love it. I definitely am going to give the other one to someone as a Christmas present. And I might even make a couple more for coworkers because you could easily personalize this with their favorite color or the color of their house. And it wouldn't take that much resin. It's a quick and easy present. So I hope you loved it. I hope you make some. If you do leave a picture below or email me a picture, likes, comments, subscribes, all the things. I appreciate them each and every time. So hope y'all loved this. Have a good time. See you next time.